Welcome back. Today we are cooking with coffee. The Crepe Cooking School in Scott Township is helping us get our coffee fix this afternoon, which Indeed. I love. Oh my God, so much. <laughs> it smells incredible in here. The owner, Jen Clark, is going to walk us through some dishes that incorporate your favorite non-alcoholic drink. Jen, thank you for coming back. I I hope we didn't scare you away oh. when we took your pretzel class. Oh, not at all. <laughs> I had fun with you guys. And, You're uh, the best. No fear. Um, <laughs> so we're making a coffee bacon jam right now, and there's coffee and minced onion in here. Ooh, that's wonderful. And I was going to have you, Heather, put some brown okay. sugar in there. Have you ever had your brown sugar get all clumpy? Yes. All the time. Secret. Get something with a terracotta disc that you can soak every month or so to keep that moisture in there. Oh, wonderful. So sprinkle that in. That's such a good tip. Stir that in, and then you could do the coffee. You could do the honors. Oh, so now, is this just so hot brewed coffee? Do you use cold brew? This is brew? leftover coffee. Um, oh, my God, I love whatever it. you want. Um, and the nice thing about coffee, there's so many different nuances in the different flavors and different blends right. that you can utilize here. But I, I always have leftover coffee, you know, from a pot the of day. coffee all the time. Yeah. And I just keep it and incorporate it into different different recipes too. So so this is making that jam. So mm -hmm. we have the brown sugar and the coffee going. What else are we adding in here? Some fresh thyme. Oh you my want to sprinkle? God. I saw that. You looked like you really oh wanted to my sprinkle, God. Kelly. You know I love this. <laughs> From Jen's, Jen has the best cooking instruments. Oh, you're one of the right here. <laughs> the so, best. So now we're gonna just crank this up and let this kind of work its magic. About Amazing. how long do you let this simmer? About 15 minutes and it, it's gonna really tighten up and get jammy if it, um, you know, gets too dry too fast, you can just add a little bit of water or okay. even a little more coffee. But um, we're gonna let that work, but I have some made ahead for you guys, of course. Oh. Um, and the cool thing about this crostini is you can serve it two ways, kind of depending on how the weather is too. So we kind of got a little chilly the last couple days. Yeah. So I figured I'd show you both um, opportunities. Um, we have some brie sliced. Brie can be Ooh. hard to slice because um, it's the rind so soft and soft on yeah. the rind. inside. Yeah. My favorite. I, I like to remove a little bit of the rind because not everyone likes it. And you, the key is to do that when it's really, really cold. Um, and then we're going to slice it down and we put it on some toast. We use Breadworks baguette and we just toast it up with some olive oil, salt and pepper. And then we put our brie on and then our bacon jam. You can serve at room temperature with some greens on top. Or this is warm. And I do like to do a little sprinkle of something fresh on top though too. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. Oh, of course. <laughs> it's all about presentation. I know, okay. I know. <laughs> Oh, that's lovely. Do you like it? Mm-hmm. It's so good. And you know nothing's easy in the kitchen for me, but this feels generally low low maintenance. It, it's pretty straightforward. I think you could do it. Mm. Now, after this cooks down, you can also mm. process it in the food processor. For our salad, we have a vinaigrette, and I'm going to put you guys to work. You're going to assemble the vinaigrette if you don't mind. I know Kelly loves to work in the kitchen, right? I now. do. Uh, with you, Jen. <laughs> with only Jen. Well, and you said, think of this like uh, you're bringing breakfast to dinner because yep. you have your eggs and your pancetta mm -hmm. um, and, and putting and coffee yeah. all together. So I um, have some fresh greens in there, some um, mm. carrot that has been formed into ribbons. We're we're gonna put some apple ribbons in there too. Actually, I did put those in already as well. Apple ribbons, that's delightful. Yeah, just a little bit of all the different flavors, but in our vinaigrette, we have, um, there is some apple juice there. Heather, if you wanna put that in. Okay. Um, and then of course we have some coffee. Oh. We're using a white balsamic vinegar that's in a little shot glass. Of course, Kelly grabbed that one. I said, don't you worry about <laughs> that, I'll handle the shot glass. Um, then we have some stone ground mustard. Excellent. And then um, some local honey. And I have a little spatula because sometimes the honey can be a little hard to get Again, out. Again, with the instruments. <laughs> Jen so has many. forever the perfect instrument well, for Well, we have our own um, kitchenware store. Right. So, you know, one of the perks when you come to a class, you get 10% off our merchandise as well. So I like to bring all the things oh, when I come down here you to have demo. The best. And then we want to stream in our olive oil. Excellent. And I'm just going to keep whisking. Yes, yes. You know, I have to tell you that. I'm normally not hungry by dinner time because I am a picker while I eat. Yeah. Do you do, or while I cook? All the like, time. I, I'm just sitting, like, I'm gonna eat this while I'm making the dressing and then dinner comes and right. I'm like, well, everyone's I'm sitting down and I have other things to do <laughs> while everyone's sitting. Okay, so we whisk so this up. And this easy vinaigrette. And then if you wanna pour a little bit over our salad, just a little bit, a little goes a long way. And that's the thing that makes a nice batch. Okay, that's great. And then How we have, did, is this feta or what did um, you have? This is feta, yeah. Um, I have some plates over there. If we wanted to plate, we could just, you know, kind of make it in the bowl though, oh. that's fine. Yeah. Um, let's top with some of our, this is actually hot capicola. Any cured pork product will work well. You can go ahead and use some leftover bacon from here if you didn't use it all. Um, and then when we plate it, we're going to put some feta. You know what, we can put some of the feta in when we toss oh, it yeah, too sure. if you want. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Let's live a little, do a Let's little of each, right? Yeah. Um, and then we can plate it, and then we'll put some hard-boiled eggs on the side. 
That looks How great. beautiful. Hey, before we let you go, I know we're running out of time. The coffee class, we, we just found out, is sold it out. It is sold out, But you sure. do have a wonderful class that's coming up. Yes. Um, and this is your um, pretzel making class, which Absolutely. we did, actually. Yeah, yeah we, yeah. we um, have a few spots left in pretzel making. Oh, look, there we are. Um, oh and that God. is next Thursday. So if you'd like to sign up for that, do it quickly before it's sold out. You know, those were delicious. You guys did a great job. We had so much fun. And too. Jen's <laughs> patience is unlimited. So if you are not great in the kitchen, I urge you to take a class with her. This <laughs> looks so wonderful. Jen, thank you thank so much. You. It was great being here really again. Good. Thank you guys Love for having us. You. All right, we want to pass this along. The Crate Cooking School located in Scott Township along Green Tree Road. As I told you, the coffee class is sold out, but the soft pretzel class still has a few spots left. That's on June 20th from 6 p.m. to 9. There's also a tour of the Strip District where they show you their favorite places to shop for ingredients, and that's on June 18th from 10 a.m. to 2.30. You can register for both online, and we're going to have a link on our website, katiekade.com slash talk Pittsburgh. I just took my first bite of the salad, Jen. Amazing. Unbelievable. And the coffee is re really subtle. It's delicious. Mm.